What's up, guys? So we're going to talk about Colorado today. Yes, the Colorado Buffaloes, coached by Dion Prime Tom Sanders. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is I know everybody's doubting him. And I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you need to doubt him. I'm not saying that you, you don't need to doubt him. My point is you got to give him credit. He, he has built up a lot of, yes, people can say hype. Dude's gotten a lot of transfers, a lot, a lot of transfers from the ACC and the SEC, especially, excuse me, especially. Well, if you're an ACC fan or you're an SEC fan, you would tell me the same thing I'm about to tell you. We feel the SEC and the ACC is more equipped to beat the Big Ten, Big 12, Pac-12. Right. So if Colorado was pulling in all these players, it's got to be something, right? And Kirk Kerbstreet was uh, quoted saying this. He said uh, he's not going to name any names, but there are a few, a few coaches in the Pac-12 who are anxious to play Colorado. And then there are a few that said they were excited, and, and I get that, because you know Colorado is putting stuff together. Uh, they have the all- offensive coach, uh, Austin, what's his name? No, Sean Lewis from Kent State. Sean Lewis is a really good offense coordinator. If you're a Georgia fan, then you'll know exactly what I mean when I say that. Uh, dude's a really, really good guy. He's got a lot of class. He's got a lot of fire that he brings. And uh, he's at the perfect place right now to be able to spark that fire. Um, I love it. So uh, last year, Colorado was 1-11. It's okay. They beat Cal. All right. But a lot of their losses, their close losses were... Okay, they didn't have any close losses, but that's not the point. The point is they were 1-11, and, and we're going to figure out what they are going to be going into this next year, ceiling-wise, and uh, we'll say what's the lowest they can go, right? I guess we'll, we'll, we'll pick those two out. Um, I want to say this, too. Best games going into next season, beginning the season. They play TCU, very first game, so I don't even know if you call that a test. I feel like they're going to get the – they're going to get blown out. All right. They also play Oregon, USC, UCLA, and Utah at the very end. All of those are really good teams. But you're going to see if this team, this Colorado team, is going to improve throughout the season, which I hope they do. I believe they will. But when we say improve, do we mean a little bit? Or do we, are they going to look like a real football team towards the end of the season? I'm not saying they're going to be great. But if you're a college football fan, if you love seeing this kind of stuff, you love seeing teams build, LSU last year would have been huge for you. So uh, that's all I'm saying is really, really cool thing to look out for. Super excited about this for for Colorado, for Dion, for all of them. Uh, I'm going to say the ceiling is going to have to be the ceiling. The ceiling is going to be four wins. I would think. I mean, you tell me what you think. The ceiling is going to be four wins to me. You got to win at least one game. You got to win at least one. It's got to – I mean – Oh, another 1-11 season would be like, ah, oh, okay, they'll get it together. Maybe a few close games here and there. But you can't can't go defeated. You got undefeated, then you got defeated. You can't go defeated. You can't. So that's all it is. Uh, I, I'm going to say 4-10. and 10. That's it. You tell me what you think. I've told you what I think. But aside from all that, thank you guys for hanging out. We're going to come out with some more content soon, especially the Dylan Rayola deal. I love it. He's moving to my old high school. But, yes, peace. Peace out, people. TB out.